everyone, it's Elaine Benedum with the City of Salinas Recreation and Park Division. I'm here at the Firehouse Recreation Center. Today I want to show you, well, we're going to put a little spin on an old game that you've probably played about a thousand times or so, if not more. So I'm going to show you how to make your own battleship game. Hmm, a lot of little pieces, right? How are you going to do that? Stick around, we're going to have some fun. So this is a battleship game that I'm sure you're familiar with. And in it are your battleships. Okay, and then you have the playing board or the playing field, which has got all the little pegs and the holes that the battleships go in, as well as the um, hit and miss pegs, okay? So you have your mock screen right there. Excellent game, good game. Fun. This game may have a couple of little drawbacks in the fact that you're probably going to lose pieces, lose battleships. It's not as portable, maybe. But anyway, it's a really great game. And so I'm going to show you a little different. So here are the items that you're going to need to the playing field. Okay. That's what one piece that you need. And then here's the other piece that you're going to need. So to make your grid, each player We'll have a piece of paper and you count out 10 squares vertically and 10 squares horizontally. So this is how you're going to lay out your grids. Um, you want to put your grid on either side, either on the left side or the right side. And you want to label them my battleships and opponents battleships. So then at the very top, you letter A through J with each letter corresponding with the square below. Then on the vertical side, you come down here and number one through 10 with each number lining up with each square. And then your opponent will be doing the same thing on their sheet of paper. So then you come along and you can create a little reminder uh, key that your hits are X's and your misses are O's. And here's a table of the uh, battleship fleet. Each player will have one carrier equals five squares, one battleship equals four squares, one cruiser equals three squares, two submarines equal three squares each, okay? And one destroyer equals two squares with a total fleet of six battleships. And here's how I laid out my battleships. Let me bring this down a little. However each player wants to um, mark, their, mark their squares, they can do individual squares, they can highlight them, they can, um, you know, however, just outline if you wanna just make an outline. But the point is, is that there is no diagonal ships and there are no spaces in your ship. So you can't go one, two, three squares, make a space and go one, two, three more, okay? You can't go crossing each other, okay? So your carrier can't be here and then a submarine crossing it. They've got to be separate and they've got to be intact. So each um, opponent will lay them out in the same manner, in a strategic manner. And keeping in mind that while you're placing your battleships on your grids, you want to keep something in between your opponents and yourself so that they cannot see so you. This is one way that you can um, put a divider up between you and your opponent. You also want to use a pen of some type so that no one can erase. Here's how it looks before you play the game. So the object of the game is to sink and destroy your opponent's entire fleet. And you will begin the game by deciding, oh, let's say like a roll of a dice or rock, paper, scissors, or any other manner that you choose. And the start player will begin by calling a horizontal letter 
and a vertical number. For instance, first player is going to call out F7. And if the opponent has any of their fleet at F7, we're going to indicate that by number one on, the, on each grid and then by announcing a hit or a miss. So F7 is a miss. So both players will indicate F7 as a miss. So we're gonna go F7 and we're gonna put a goose egg, big zero. And then this will be your opponent, but they're gonna be on the other side of the table. Okay, so they're gonna keep track of it as well. F7, big goose egg there. And then, so your opponent is gonna get a chance to fire at you now. And then you'll indicate the hits or the misses by X's and O's all the way through, and you'll take turns and each opponent will have a chance to fire at each other. And you'll continue on firing at each other and recording the hits and the misses as they occur, as well as announcing the hits or the misses. And you have to announce when one of your ships is sunk, you have to say, you sunk my ship. That way that can be recorded as well. And you'll continue throughout the game until one player or the other their entire fleet has been sunk and destroyed. Bye for now. Thank you for watching, everyone. I had fun. I hope you did too. I hope you sink and destroy all of your opponent's fleets. Subscribe, like, and share at Salinas Parks and Recreation, Wreck at Home Series, Linktree, and social media. Bye now.